so this video is going to be all about my year of masters. Her name's Olive. Right now she's shedding, so she looks pretty funny. She's, well, she was this color, and now she's turning this color. She doesn't like being held sometimes. I woke her up from her sleep, so she's cranky. Her name's Olive. I've had her since October, and now it's almost July. When I first got her, I wasn't expecting to get her, really, until it, while I was in the car, I was like, oh, I want a lizard, so I got a lizard. She was, a, I'm thinking she was over $100, but I'm not sure because I also bought all the stuff I needed for her. Um, she eats lettuce every day, but sometimes she has turnip greens. Really, she can have any leafy greens. She's just really picky on what she eats. She doesn't like cilantro. She doesn't like, I don't know what else. We've tried a lot of things, and she doesn't like most of them. She doesn't. Well, we did get her crickets before, that's what the pet people told us to give her, and she ate a lot of those, but then later I was online and I read it was bad for her, so stopped giving her those. Um, then we tried giving her worms, like the pet people said, read online, you weren't supposed to do that, so by the time I, like the second day I had the worms, they all died, and I'm not sure why, so I was like, well, okay, I shouldn't give her them anyways. She did, she didn't really like the worms that much, she didn't notice them, but she did like the crickets, but she never let us watch her eat them, but she ate them, because there's no way they can get out of the tank. The tank I have is about, I think, 34 gallons. I'm not sure where we got it, because one day my dad just brought it home and said, you know, put whatever you want in it, so I used all of my paycheck on getting this little lizard. I really like her. The pet people said she has a lot of personality. When I got her, she was scratching on the tank because she wanted out. She does that now too. Even if she's been out all day, she still wants out. Right now, I have the camera on top of her tank in case I have to put her back in it right now. That's what she was crawling on. But overall, she's a really good lizard and easy to take care of. We clean her tank about once a week, depending on how dirty it gets. But every day I have to pick up her poop. <laughs> um, her tank really doesn't smell bad ever. All we have in there is her house, which I got at PetSmart, I think. A rock from Petco. And then a piece of driftwood that we just had at my house. And then I have a bowl from Petco that we put her lettuce in. We used to have a water bowl, but we realized she didn't really get in it, and when she did, she just wanted to get the tank all dirty. Sometimes, when I feed her later than usual, she gets mad and starts puffing up like she is now, and she'll, like, crawl through her bowl and get the lettuce all over. She likes to get it dirty when she's mad. She's a really good lizard. She never bites. I read that they really don't bite at all though. She eats, well, I also read online that you're supposed to put her food in there so she can eat for four hours, but we just put her food in there around one in the afternoon, and right now it's 6.07 and she still has some in there. Maybe it's because I fed her a little too early this morning, around 11, but overall I would recommend her. She's a really good lizard, and she's, she's just pretty. I think she looks like a little alligator or something. Her tail is really unique. That's what made me so interested in her. Her tail feels like bark on a tree. That's her um, protection mechanism. Right now she's peeling, so she's not very happy. She has like little gloves of leftover skin. <laughs> I don't know. I, I read not to pull it off of her, so I try not to. And sometimes she eats her own skin, and I read that's, that's good. And sometimes she doesn't. Most of the time she doesn't. This is the first time she's ever peeled with us. So I'm not really sure why or why now. But she seems pretty fine. I'm really glad I got her. I never regret getting her. I never regret getting her. I also read that they live to be 20 years old, and I've only had her since October. Um, her nails are really sharp. I don't think you're supposed to trim them. I don't see why you would trim them. They really hurt. But, yeah, I guess that's all for now. Her name's
is Olive. She's a Mali Euromastix and a female.